I'm Hazel. It's Saturday today, which makes it time to sit down and catch up on the WOW news of the week, what I have been up to, and answer some of your questions. This week, we've got a patch release coming up. Patch 10.2.5, Seeds of Renewal, is coming with this upcoming weekly reset. Full and official patch notes are out, and there should be lots for us to do between the Outland Cup, retaking Gilneas, follower dungeons, dragon riding around the old world, and then the new Azerothian Archives public event, which I'm excited about as a source of new collectibles. Speaking of follower dungeons, Blizzard has recently posted that there will be, at least at first, a cap of daily follower dungeons you can do in an account. When they first launch, you will be limited to doing 10 follower dungeons a day or less on your account. And this is a measure that is presumably, we don't, they didn't say why they're doing it, but presumably it's either to protect the game against bots or to protect the servers against us. <laughs> 10 dungeons in a day is a lot. I think many people in normal play would like never notice this. And they did say they can revisit it later when they have a better idea of whatever it is that they wanted to monitor, however that happened to work out. If you missed it, follower dungeons are going to be a new way to play through the normal mode difficulty of Dragonflight dungeons with AI NPCs with you. They can fill all of the available roles in a dungeon and you can toggle them to either lead the group or to follow behind you so that you can play at your own pace, which could be particularly nice if you are brand new to group content and you want to take a look at it at your own pace. Um, or maybe you're trying out a new role and you want a chance to kind of poke around without feeling rushed by other people. Follower dungeons should be a great way to test those waters. Other news this week, there is a new Twitch drop coming. It's the Grim Campfire. It will be available not with the patch release. It was supposed to, but they pushed it back. It will now be launched on January the 23rd. Uh, this Grim Campfire was another old TCG item and it will make a cooking fire for you with skulls for kindling. Be advised though that that drop does not start until January the 23rd. It was pushed back. Other things, the Auspicious Arbor Worm has been released. This mount is included with any ongoing six month or 12 month sub to WoW, or if you don't have one of those and you don't wanna get one, but you still want the mount, you can purchase it as a standalone shop mount purchase. It looks like this. This is a dragon riding mount. It dragon rides, it does not currently fly regularly, and it is not a customization for the Slither Drake, but in fact, its own mount. Getting the Auspicious Arbor Worm also gets you a matching pet for Wrath Classic. And then the big surprise of the week is the remixed tier sets that are coming for season four. So with this upcoming victory lap season, after we're done with the Amir Drasil season, they're going to replay the old raids, just like the faded season in Shadowlands. But this time we are choosing what tier sets we're going to have. So there are currently polls up in the forums where each class can vote on which tier look they liked from the first three tiers of Dragonflight. And then each spec can vote on which set bonus that they preferred from the first three tiers of Dragonflight. Um, the winners of those polls will be mixed and matched into our new tier sets for season four, which is kind of exciting. Voting is now open. I will link the polls in the description. And my best advice to you is to follow your heart and don't let anybody push you into voting for something that you wouldn't have voted for. <laughs> and then in my life this week, there is a big cold snap happening where I live and also in lots of other places, but it is here, uh, which I've discovered mainly means wearing lots of layers and uh, babysitting the hummingbird feeder because it freezes over real quick. And, um, and then the birds are like desperate. So <laughs> it's been a lot of, um, it's been a lot of, a lot of bird juice. And then questions for this week. Cheezers wants to know, maybe I missed it, but will dragon riding mounts be able to fly regularly in 10.2.5 or is that in future patches? So not in 10.2.5 and I did log on to the PTR just to double check. In the War Within pre-patch on the roadmap, they've got dynamic flight markdown, and that's when we're expecting to be able to dragon ride on more mounts. I am expecting that inversely, we will also be able to regular fly on dragon riding mounts. It is going to be some kind of a toggle. So I'm expecting that in summer-ish with that 11.0 War Within pre-patch. And then Dan wants to know, as we start to wind down with Dragonflight, is there any meaningful way to convert some of the many currencies we've collected into gold? I've got so much elemental overflow on top of Paracausal Flakes, Storm Sigils, Dream Surge Coalescence, and Unearth Fragrant Coins, and I can't figure out what to do with it all. Looks like gear tokens you can buy with Coalescence only vendor for five gold now, which is something. Am I missing anything more obvious and or lucrative? So my first impression was that's a great question and I have no idea and I hope that somebody in the comments of this video will know. But it did occur to me that paracausal flakes, at least for those ones, those you can purchase pets with and the pets that you purchase with paracausal flakes like Gil Gildan and Doom Rubble and so on, those are cageable. So for that, at least you could cage those pets and then sell them on the auction house. For the rest of it, I have no ideas. Some of them may only be good for transmog and then some of them might be just dead, but for at least that one, you can sell pets. 
And that has been the week. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions for a news video, please leave it in the comments and include the word question to help me find it. I appreciate you guys. Stop by a stream sometime if you like and have a wonderful, wonderful day.